used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? A, hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. Um, step-brother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have my- Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> and to date, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you it's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Fine, just hold the camera out, like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex, just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Um, polio. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy, the, uh... Oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. We spent five years studying. It's, uh... To the left of the dial? Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. We'll be quick. We'll meet you by the... thing. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts. All right. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole... leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the, it's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call a local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. <laughs> I think that's what I would call a hermit. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones... Drum roll, please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't and get... did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all.
There's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Does this go anywhere? More closed doors or trees? I don't know, but it's not where we're going. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, uh, okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Won't take long, I promise. Really, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Nah, it's all right. I don't have to hear it. Uh, anyways, Jonas, it's like the only time in history an American sub was destroyed in our waters or something like that. Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so they made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, if you had, you'd have heard of the town. But since you haven't, you hadn't. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada some 25 miles off the coast of Washington and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. Eighty-five officers as well as 12 Army passengers were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941. This is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't, didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. 
Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. I'll just talk to you later, seriously. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... I just wanted to make sure you guys saw where we were before it got too dark. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but... Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. 
Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're going to... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. Oh, liar! Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically... <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well, I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Why, thank you. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here. Your best friend. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuff? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should let... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows.
Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked you're about ready. Dot. Oh, so, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Just know, you know, it's not about you. It's her own messed up crap and whatever. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie... Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It sounds. <sighs> like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous? No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the map.
you. Tray down here, or a pen. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, you scared me. I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows sure why not let's go with that for the time being i think apart from the um the triangle this is honestly the craziest thing in here like how did it even get in and i mean aside from some like water damage it's not really even that junky i know try your radio maybe that's like a frequency i guess it's locked yeah i already tried alex just Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside, so let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Yeah, good idea. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Yeah. I can't even... Like... What is... what? Is it... it... what? Insane. What? Um, what are you? Listen, Bob Tail. Shave Tail. Sleeping. Time. Time. Yeah. Is lead. possible. Um, uh, maybe, but I, I don't really. 
Bobtail. Leave, children. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Alex! What? Alex! Alex! Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? Not, um, really. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... I'm not sure this qualifies as, like, something... Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. I know you think this stuff is fun or whatever, but I'm sorry, we don't really know what's going on. Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but it's like weird and crazy and magic, so... I mean, don't you want to- No, I don't. Whatever you're gonna say, unless it's leave, I don't wanna at all. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. And what exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? See? Well, I'm sure they're That'll all do, right. Pig. Anyway. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. How does this thing... The fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> is... um... is anyone there? It's... um... dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess.
There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Das! Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hop and Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, just... It's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, Ren, are you alright? Like, physically alright? Because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like, check Wait, it. Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? I'm and in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why I, I don't remember like the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. Yeah, I... sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's like, I don't know, I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous.
so. Just curious, but, um... You played with the radio, a triangle came out, triangle talked, hung out a little, then... Is that the thing works? I think crap, I think down here somewhere. I was worried, honestly that my left like actually the inclusion of You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Why not? I mean, isn't that like a guy thing? Cowboys and gangsters? I can't ride a horse and banks make me nervous. I like football. I think that's enough. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted, keep out, and well, they're not messing around. Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure.
not enter without permission of the installation commander. Whatever you say, sign. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes. Quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. No, not at all. I mean, he he was always so busy with school and, like, he was, like, always dating somebody, but it, it would never last long. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... it's just strange to see it like this. But what do you think Mike saw in Clarissa, really? Other than, I guess, the obvious? It's not a true question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. I don't know if we'll find that around here, though. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Jonas, what happened? Are, are you all right? Jonas, let me in! I'm not in the mood. outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here and it's just a room, so like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. 
I-I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Ow! I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ. And this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death buying. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... Okay, what just happened? Because that, that sucked. It's a, I guess, a one-way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now, so... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! What was that? Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, gonna hate to go out in that. 
So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now. So since we're stuck anyway, I... Oh my God, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like, relax, honey. Is that Clarissa out there? Hello? Is this thing, is this? God, is this, is this going out or? Wait, I can, ugh, oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Oh, man, maybe God, she didn't does, see does anybody... us. I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still got to get to her. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. What was that? You, you heard that, right? I'm sure it's just the, uh, the evil again. I forgot this step in between the finger paint and wearing our lungs. They also drop things. I'm... I don't even know why I ask you. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ah. Uh. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a... Our friends are finding this tough. Why are you doing this? Why is... Anything? Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't what You real... call codes... cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race, and through all our times the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, what the hell are you talking about? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Uh, twelve? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. 
it all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out in the This is kid. He makes fence. There's there's all my nicks said he was now obsessed. I'd smash it in his FCS with my mind. I here I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out in the This is kid. He makes fence. There's there's all my Said he was now obsessed. I am. I didn't need to get United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are uh, sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... Huh? Cross your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa! Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still, good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with yeah, this- Yeah, I keep my word. I told you I'd come, and I came. Yeah, you did, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa- I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a way... Any officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, wait. What? We already did this. You already said that. Did I? Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down? <sighs> Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. Clarissa! Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw... I saw you. Alex, don't worry. 
What I is the matter with her? I am an American. Clarissa, will you wake responsible up? Responsible for my enemy. There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. Oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're we're, we're not. It's not like we're. She killed herself. Oh my God! She just killed herself. They made her. I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them, I mean. I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we, she knows me, this can't, oh God, and just the fact that I'm the one who, who was here, and, God. We'll... we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my... Oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just... Maybe she just twisted her... Twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible, cuz... Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't... I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless... Good news... Yes, Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. What, you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is currently. Well, guess it's Ren time. Let's hope it's less eventful.
I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy in that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going. Not, uh, not exactly, no. Not exactly? Well, not at all. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, every- Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush.
Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood and slats that isn't hung by what looks to be twine? It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or... Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing that's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. Yeah, maybe. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well and dead, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know... That's very sweet. Really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. If you're gonna pull it, you might have... Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on... Backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. This that's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah! I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Uh, was that there before? Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look at... It was worth it.
It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. What a night, huh? <sighs> yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise the Lord. 